Hello, hello. This is Healing Hands Tarot, life path number four. You guys are welcome to November Tarot reading for your life path number. Um, so if you, in case you don't know what a life path number is, um, please go on Google and type that in and figure it out. But my guess is if you are um, clicking on this video, you already know what that you know that you're a life path number four, um, which is why you're watching this, right? Um, except maybe you've been divinely guided to click on this and there might be a message for you even if you're not a life path number four. So anyway, your life path number happens to be the most significant number in your numerological chart. Um, and it's usually also called your destiny number. Guys, this month I do, I was guided to pull like 15 decks comprising of Oracle and Tarot cards and i am going to be um allowing myself to be divinely guided to narrow it down to 10 specific cards for your november reading okay um so life path number four let me just quickly tell you a little bit about your life path number okay so if you are a life path number four um is usually known as um the teacher all right, because you like to in imbibe knowledge, you like to teach people, you know, the the, the wealth of knowledge that you have. Um, so people with this life path number, um, they're usually, you know, known to have a very strong sense of ethics. So your work ethics is very very important to you. All right, you not number four. Okay, in numerology is associated with community, foundation, home um celebration so number four you just picture having like four um four structures all right that that will help build a solid foundation so people with life path number four do crave a lot of stability in their life all right um and you know uh you like you're very very hard working your personality comes across to people as very very hard working okay also as a life path number four you you know your strengths include you know the fact that you can persevere and you have very good organizational skills um that can help you accomplish large projects and big goals and because of your honesty and integrity people know they can trust you all right because you're number four right um you're comfortable with you know expanding a small project or business into something bigger because you do see the, the bigger picture. But some weaknesses that people may attribute to your life path number include tendency for you to be bossy because you know it all, um, which some of you actually do know. <laughs> you have a ton of knowledge. Uh, but there's a tendency for people to think, oh, you know, um, that you're a show off or you know it all. And, you know, sometimes you can be very rigid um, and quick to judge your co-workers or your peers or your family members or people around you. Sometimes you can also be overly cautious and careful in nature, which can lead to missed opportunities. All right. So some of the um, career fields for people who are life path number four um, include anything that involves a methodical and disciplined approach, such as, you know, construction, law, engineering, finance or science. Um, teaching is also very good as you know, passing on your skills and talent is something that you value a lot. And career that value your organizational skills and ability to see through large projects, such as project management, marketing, um, and, you know, pro production. I mean, those are very good career choices for you. Okay? So, now, with that said, let's dive into your um, 10 cards spread for the month of November and see what we pick up. Okay. First card. Door to romance, and it's number 33. Okay, so some of you may have romance in the month of November. Maybe there's something coming your way that you know will finally bring you some kind of love that you've been expecting or that you're you've been craving for. So, number three, you, you this is 33, which equals to six in numerology, and six it has. Okay, six has a lot to do with charity, generosity, sharing. So some of you might be sharing your love with um, somebody this month of um, November. So um, 
number if it's if it were number three by itself, I'll be like number three also is a, is a is a is a number of teamwork and collaboration and building um together with people and you know like just working as part of a team and trying to create something um something stable something long lasting in this case in the month of november it might involve creating something you know around love that will be long lasting in your life this is a beautiful energy to to pick up right you know like the, that's the first card right so anyway this dot to romance talks of new beginnings in love whether you're looking for a new relationship or just you know more love in your current relationship the door with a heart opens and you have a new beginning in your experience, okay? There's a newness, a revival, a revitalization, a rebirth um, of love, okay? In your life in the month of um, November. So love is arriving. Whether you've had it before, if you, if you already have love in your life, I mean, you're in love with somebody, it's going to be revamped. It's going to be on steroids this month, guys. Your partner will start showing you love. You'll start show, seeing love and you start showing love too. And I think, you know, both, this might be a very good month to build some kind of solid um, foundation. This may be a call for from a past life too, okay? Or it may be a new tenderness about, about to bloom into heartfelt affection. Maybe somebody from your past. Um... Because when I see six too, you know, it reminds me of something from your past, all right? Somebody who, not necessarily somebody you've dated in the past. It could be, but it does also remind me of maybe some somebody that has like some kind of soulmate. So some of you might be in a relationship with your soulmate already. Or if you're not, your soulmate might be coming in in the month of November. So, hey guys, great expectation. <laughs> so, all right. Great expectation. Very, very good way to start this. Start off this reading. Okay, so let me pull one of this Oracle cards. And, okay. You do have forgiveness. All right. So if I add this up, 9 plus 6 is 15. And 15 is 1, one 5, which is equal to 6. Guys, so this is 6-6 six, six again. And 6-6, six, six, you know, like I said earlier, is a number of generosity, sharing of love, okay? Maybe somebody from your past that may be coming in that you need to forgive. Um, in order to usher in this newness, this new love in your life. So I don't know, it, I mean, I'm sure it's going to be different for, for every one of you. But you do have repeating number of 6-6. Six, six, and if you want to go on Google and type in 6-6, I, I think, let's see what we pull up um, subsequently. But 6-6 six, six is definitely standing out for you in the month of November. And when, when we talk about this forgiveness card, it indicates a need to forgive yourself and others. Even for, you know, whatever past actions that may have caused you pain. So when you draw this card, you're being encouraged to heal any unresolved anger, hate, jealousy, resentment, or guilt that is blocking your success. Such emotions are toxic to your body and holds you back from attracting a harmonious life. So for the sake of your health and future happiness, you must forgive whatever happened in the past with whoever this person is that is bringing love to you. Some of you might be your ex coming back you know, I don't like to, you know, like talk about exes coming back because I, I always say they are ex for a reason, which means we've ex them out and, you know, and hoping that we're not repeating, you know, the same cycle uh, um, with, you know, this exes. Sometimes it might be some kind of karma that needs to wrap up or something that needs to lesson that needs to be learned that wasn't learned previously that you're now having another chance to revisit and to, you know, close this out properly. But forgiveness doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, you're forgetting or condoning any behavior from anybody, okay? It just means that you are letting go and releasing yourself so that you can, you know, um, you know, so that you can center yourself and create something new and abundant in your life, okay? Next card that I'm being drawn to pull is this. Let's see what comes out for you guys. Life path number four, okay? I don't know why I'm being guided to shuffle. I haven't shuffled for any other sign, really. As in, 
shuffling and allowing the cards to fall as they may. Okay, so this is popping up. We're picking this one. So, um, this says, the moment I embrace my peace within and sur surrender the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. The moment you can forgive whatever this is from the past, okay, this pain. Some of you might be in, in a relationship currently and there's some, you know, um, built up anger, something that may have happened in your relationship that may have tainted your relationship with you know, your partner, it might be your husband or boyfriend or whatever, fiance, I don't know. Um, so if that is the case, forgiveness is definitely going to help heal whatever this pain or wound is and be able to allow, you know, for newness. Remember when you forgive, and I'm talking about genuinely forgiving and letting go of the past, um, newness can, can happen. Healing will definitely happen. And it's time for you in the month of November to heal yourself and provide that healing that other people need or maybe allow people to you know like apologize and forgive you too for whatever you've done to them and so that they can heal and you can also heal all right okay moving on to the next deck um this is the guardian angel tarot deck okay we do have a flipper and it's the eight of abundance I don't know if you're dealing with a life path number. I think this card came out for um, life path number one or two. And this came out for life path number one or two. Some of you may be dealing with somebody who has a life path number. It doesn't have to be. Um, you know. Um, but what this is saying is this is a time of learning and honoring your skills you may feel inspired to go back to school take seminars on topics that fascinate you or educate yourself on the healing arts this is a good time to change jobs or make a career move the key to success is in the details monitor your projects carefully all right eight is usually a number of um diligence passion high standards okay so here we go again with passion coming in for you and resonating with this door to romance there's some kind of newness you know that is related to love um that may also be tied to your job it might be even newness i don't know this is for forgiveness for some of you may need to occur around your job or people that you work with uh may not have to be a romantic partner but i'm picking up love strongly um whatever the case may be um, there's, is a time for you to, um, learn, you know, time for you to learn from past mistakes. All right. And be able to take whatever experiences you've, you know, learned from those mistakes, forgive, heal yourself and move on. All right. Provide yourself with the healing that you need so that the other person too can be healed. All right. Can, can get the, the closure that they need so that you all can usher in this newness or new beginning. Somebody might be giving you an apology is also what I'm hearing. Or you might be offering or tendering an apology to somebody. Um, well, please don't let pride get in the way. If there's something that has happened in the past in your relationship, maybe somebody you're currently in a relationship with or somebody that, you know, uh, maybe previously had a relationship with, it might even be somebody from your, you know, like a soulmate that is coming into your life whatever this is there is you know um an opportunity for it to be you know rebirth okay and healing is coming up so some of you may need to take classes you know like even go for reiki reiki healing or seek out some kind of acupuncture or that alternative healing methods crystal healing um you know maybe some some of you might need to do that or some of you might need to go actually learn how to be healers i don't know some of you might have that um calling to or that gift that that may need to be um explored for some of you okay all right so let's move on i'm being drawn to this one here so this is wisdom of the hidden realm oracle card and you do have a flipper and you do have the queen of lights guys this is very, very, very interesting, guys. It's a number 15, which is equal to 6. So we do have 6 how many times now? Um, remember, we did pull 
Here we did have the 3, 3, which is equal to 6. There's 1, 5, which is equal to 6. So you have 6, 6. Um, and here, like I said earlier on, angel number 6, 6. But I said, let's wait and see what comes up. So we do have another 6. So 9 plus 6 is 15, which is 1 plus 5 is 6, all right? So you do have 666. So 666 might be very, very significant. Some of you might be seeing 666 number. It doesn't mean there's anything. 666 is not bad. It just means that there might be a message therein. So you might need to go to Google and just type in 666 angel number and see what comes up for you. There might be a message in there for you that you need to, um, your guides or, you know, um, your angels, uh, you know, whoever you believe in, they're trying to send across to you. But... The queen of the light talks of illumination, enlightenment, and celebration. Okay? Remember I said your life path number four is also about, you know, um, celebration, right? Um, solid foundation, okay, with people. So you're getting some kind of illumination and enlightenment. So the queen of light is a beautiful ally and comes into your life to herald success in all your endeavors, okay? Okay? Um, she illuminates the most important steps on your path and reminds you of your own brilliance. You're intelligent and inspired and all your needs will be met. Remember that you're the instrument of the divine shining through you in this world. You're on the correct path for your highest good. Okay. So some of you are on the right path is what I'm picking up. Um, and like I said earlier on, you may need to add Reiki healing or learn how to do Reiki healing or even go get some Reiki healing. Um, but whatever it is, you're on the right path and you're, you're being divinely guided. Uh, but the queen also brings you insight into how you manifest your reality, you know, in the most miraculous way. She promises that you'll be shown the next right action and celebrates um, you as you stand brilliant, joyful and enlightened in the present time it says you've worked hard to come this far you can be proud to stand tall in your conviction that in your heart of hearts you know the truth of your situation the rewards for your perseverance and willingness to learn are on their way gratitude and acceptance are key today here we go again talking about learning learning from whatever past mistakes as you forgive and are forgiven all right um there's great learning from you know forgiveness whatever this is in the past that can help you usher in and bring in this new abundant door to romance open this door of love for you okay um so 666 angel number will help provide you maybe i think there's a message in there google it and find out what's in, what's in there for you okay moving on to the next card that i'm being guided to pull is the life's purpose oracle deck and spirit, please, we just need one card here for life path number four for the month of November and beyond. Any insights that they are needing to get for this month of November. Okay, thank you. I think we have a flipper that fell on the ground. So I'm going to pick it up on the floor. So it says, talk to your angels. Instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. So guys... This still goes back to illumination, enlightenment, all right? There's something that, that there, there is a message, like I said, that is about to come into you that your angels are trying to communicate. And like I said, it might be in the number 666 because it did come up strongly in your reading. Um, so talk to them. Also, if you're finding it difficult to let go or to forgive, Call, up, call on your guardian angels. Angel Michael, for example, I like working with him because he answers right away he doesn't waste any time so there's all other angels that you that are around you you can call them talk to, to them and ask them to help you heal ask them to help provide that you know strength that you need to forgive whoever this is in this situation in order for you to heal all right i'm gonna pull a, a tarot card for you so spirit please we need one tarot card for life path number four thank you okay so this is the three of pentacles and i think we talked about working together with people all right collaboration this is the, um, a number of um 
building or collaborating with people so maybe there's a forgiveness that needs to occur for this collaboration to happen but it does talk about appreciation it says you'll be highly praised and rewarded once you can talk to your angels and and have them help you release whatever this is um and learn just you know accept whatever lessons and you know, um, forgive whoever this is in this situation, forgive yourself or whatever your part was in this situation. I think you'll be able to, you know, work better with, with, with them going forward. Even if this has to do with your job, um, it's the same advice that I'm going to give you. Okay. So let me pull from the after tarot. Okay. One just flipped right away, but I'm not going to take it. Um, let's try that again. Spirit. I just need one card. Okay, for life pattern. Okay, so this is all flipping and this is standing upright. So whatever this is that, that you're probably all up, you know, like trying to figure out whether you need to forgive the person or not. It's time for you to forgive that person. It's time for you to let it go. All right, this is the eight of swords. And eight, you know, as it talks about the lack of motivation. You know, it talks about lack of passion all right but you're being asked to forgive so that you can bring that that a passion okay and forgiveness don't overanalyze the situation it's time to let it go okay um so that was already flipped upside down so i am not really going to take it but i just wanted to read it out because i'm sure there was a message in there for somebody or some of you so spirit i just need one card for life path number four for november to, you know um reading tarot reading so is there anything that we need to communicate to help them understand how to conquer this challenge in front of them this month and beyond? Okay, so this is just what needs to come out, okay? So some of you are being advised to not look at, you know, like what was spilled or what has been lost, you know, like, you know, remember the, this other card talked about, you know, the past, and letting go of what's what you've lost in the past or what happened in the past so that you can move forward so this also is talking about somebody who's looking at all the cups on the on the floor that they've lost and you know not really seeing uh, you know hope in this situation but they're, they're telling you there's hope in this situation okay there is hope you just need to forgive that person or forgive those people and you know learn and heal there is no real movement if you do not talk to yourself talk to your angels and acknowledge hey when you say your prayers i have learned this and that you might want to be specific about what you've learned regarding that situation if you want to if you don't want to be specific you can just acknowledge within you you don't need to share with anybody like i've learned my lessons and you know um i'm releasing this um pain i'm releasing i'm forgiving this person and forgiving myself for the part that i played in this whole situation so that this love can this newness can actually come into your life okay um so i said we're pulling 10 cards and i have three four five six seven eight okay so there's two more that we need to pull let me just make sure we're not repeating any cards okay um which one am i being guided to pull let's see archetype all right, I'm pulling from the archetype cards. And this does, you know, provide both the, you know, light and shadow side. So two cards flipped out. So child and magical flipped out for, I think, life path number three. So you might be dealing with somebody with life path number three, but maybe not. Um, but I'm going to put it back in there. Um, so what this is saying is um, let go of the pessimism, the depression. Or disbelief in miracles believing that energy and actions are not required for growth they are okay actions and energy are required for growth all right forgiveness in this situation is required for you to move forward all right so um it says seeing the potential for secret beauty in all things the belief that everything is possible it's possible for you to move forward you know take this relationship a step further okay it's possible for you to give birth to this new door of romance with whoever this is or these people are in your life but you do have the damsel and it says understanding the nature of healthy romance um inspire you to rely on your inspires you to rely on yourself okay and it says you should be careful about waiting for a night to provide for you 
seduction by romantic illusion. So even if you're going to forgive this person, all right? So like I said earlier, unforgiveness does not mean you have to condone, you know, negativity going forward. Um, you need to understand the nature of healthy romance. So if even if you're going to go back to this um, roman romantic um, relationship with whoever this is, even if it's your job, um, it doesn't really matter. So even if you're going to go back, you have to learn how to also put up healthy boundaries. Okay. So I think that's all. I'm not going to pull another one. We did get our message clearly from there. Um, and I think we do have enough cards for your November reading. So I'm just going to close this reading out with um, Archangel Michael um, prayer card. So if you can repeat the prayer after me. Um, okay. So I think I, I left one card at the bottom. Uh, this says, take your time making this decision. Um, but I'm going to put it back since we left one. I don't want to miss out anything. So, okay. So this opened and okay, we put this back in there. Okay, so what this is saying is your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. So guys, your inner guidance at this time, leaning towards forgiveness is real and it's trustworthy. Trust the message that you'll be receiving from your 666 angel number um, and the guidance that will pro be provided to you through that channel. Um, but if you want to say this prayer after me, go ahead. It says, please help me clearly hear, see, feel, and know the divine guidance that I have asked and prayed for. Allow me to keep my ego out of the way so your wisdom can come streaming through me for my own benefits and for those around me. Guys, please do not let your ego hold you back this month. If you need to ask for forgiveness, please do. There's nothing as healing, as soothing as I am sorry. Sometimes the, those words can help quench any fire, any anxiety, any just saying I'm sorry. Okay, and meaning it can help save the situation. I'm getting for some people, this relationship is almost ended, it's dead. But maybe you've been going about it in your head, like do you know you know you've done something wrong, or even the person might be the one who's wrong, but you've been getting like intuitive guidance for you to call or to reach out and to apologize this might be the opportunity for you to usher in this newness this new door of um of romance into your life but like i said re remember to put up healthy boundaries forgiving doesn't mean condoning doesn't mean taking it and allowing it to happen to you next time okay all right i hope this helped somebody um provide some kind of clarity or guidance for the month of november please do like subscribe share to this channel i'm trying to build it thank you i appreciate all you all's um continued support and until next month when i come to you again this is healing hands and i'll say bye